the Lord's mercies. In ancient Israel, the Ark of the Covenant represented the mercy of the Lord, a powerful truth that came to be embodied in Christ. <coughs> we are to receive his mercy, trusting in his saving blood, and be saved eternally. You can really call the law, mock holiness, tear down everything that speaks of God, but when you mock or ridicule God's mercy, judgment comes, and swiftly. If you trample on his blood of mercy, you face his awful wrath. <clears throat> this is what happened to the Philistines when they stole the ark. Deadly destruction came on them until they had to admit, this isn't just chance, God's hand is clearly against us. Consider what happened when they, when the ark was taken into the heathen temple of Dagon to mock and challenge Israel's God. In the middle of the night, the mercy seat on the ark became a rod of judgment. The next day, the idol Dagon was found fallen on its face before the ark, its hands and his head cut off. See 1 Samuel 5, 2 to 5. All who want to bring Christ's church under the power of secularism or agnosticism will be judged. Yes, anything that's against the law, they will be judged. Jeremiah says, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassions Fail not. Lamentations 3 verse 22. When men make a mockery of that great mercy which is Christ, judgment is sure. Only the mercy of the Lord delays judgment. Mm. And right now, our society is benefiting from that mercy. Incredibly, our country is in a race to remove God and Christ from society. The Lord will not be mocked, but he has shown mercy on this nation. I believe that is why he is still pouring out blessings on us. We are not to despair over the present conditions in Britain or America. We may grieve over the awful corruption, mockery and sin, but we have hope knowing God is in full control and he is merciful.